look, look, look. Heroes first, heroes first. Bo <laughs> I knew it. Druid and Forest, a 2v2 match. And we are getting to play Rohan and Gondor versus Gondor and Isengard. So we have three good factions and only one evil. And this evil player will get bullied in this game, okay? So it's a big map, you know? And big map means also big possibilities, obviously. We will actually go for the mobility units in this game you know we're not gonna go for the combos or else we will get to recruit rohirrim archers later on but in order to make your rohirrim archers stronger you need leadership and especially the leadership of eoma so that's gonna be the plan we have plenty of creeps on this map i will take it no worry about it and with the creeps and we can not only get our eoma to level 4 but also our theodin you know and you know what it means when theodin gets level 4 it's unlocking the glorious charge so Rohan is a beast, okay? It's a demon in big games, in big maps. Okay, so the plan is to capture as many settlements as potentially possible. We have actually, like, Duradan Forest, we have, like, crazy amount of money potential. And with this money, we can rush our heroes and level them up, you know, with the creeping. beautiful okay i mean it's a mistake from my ally to use elvin wood like this to be honest with you because there is an enemy gondor you know and he will always cover this you know but it's it's okay it's not a big deal i want to creep this with the hobbit and one peasant and i also want to rush elma actually i don't want to make any stable even though i need to see going for the stable would be potentially a better choice because you can kind of secure map control this way but I want to play for the fun, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so Ioma, Theodine, then we make, you know, fire roll, upgrades, Rohir Marchers, big army. Later on, we also recruit Aragon for even greater amount of leadership. But for now, we need to play it a bit more smart. So whenever you can, try to avoid fighting the soldiers in a one-on-one, -on -one, okay? Don't do this, because they will win and you will feed power points. So what you can do instead is you can trade his farm for your farm. So you ignore his soldiers and force Gondor to make a choice, because you can get additional swordmen pretty much from everywhere where you have a farm at, but Gondor can't, which makes Rohan to a better early game faction. Okay, so far so good. We destroyed this. The Hobbit is annoying, but we should be able to kill him with two peasants. The farm is going to be taken down. We don't really need to demolish the farms at the beginning of the game because they don't really feed a lot of power points, unlike other structures, like for example, statues and wells. Share experience, Mary. Boom, you see? You want to put, please, you want to place your Hobbit behind your peasant. Oh my goodness. Somebody's gifting a random sub to my Twitch channel. Thank you so much. Really means a lot, man. Anonymous just gifted one sub. What a pirate! Thank you so much, anonymous gifter. <laughs> that was pretty unexpected. Okay. So with Elma, that's pretty decent. It's a beast, you know. Later on, it should be kind of easy to get him to level four because look, we will get so many experience points here. You know, killing those soldiers and Uruks. Get away from these lands. With the white hand of Saruman. Boom level 2. Beautiful trample. Ah, that's gonna be juicy. Let's capture this one. And keep trampling. If I level 2 peasant even. Or Mary can creep. And we will get Yoma level 3 without even having to creep, you know. Look, look at this man. That's so good. That's so good actually for us, you know. Kill him. Trample. Against Wartman, you want to trample because it deals way more damage than Eoma's basic auto attacks. Oh, there is a. Uh, okay. I can. You know. Speed throw this. Okay, so Eoma and all the horse heroes in the game are actually quite tanky against other horses. And they also deal bonus damage, you know? So mounted heroes counter horses, especially if they have no leadership. And we also change the spear throw of Emma. Uh, it always deals critical damage now to um, cavalry units. So basically, you can one shot Warp Riders, Rohirrim, or Gondonites. 
but it's a single single target so when you throw the spear you kill them even if they have heavy armor even if they have leadership it doesn't matter which means you can even recruit uh, Eoma later on and still get him easily to level 4, you know? So now we have the uncle and the nephew side by side. Mary can try to creep this one. I mean, without horses, we can't really keep map control, but I'm, I'm pretty sure we are kind of okay. My ally is also pressuring. Always keep an eye on the minimap, you know what I'm saying? So the plan is to go for, first of all, we go for, um, see it. Um, fire rose, you know? And then after the fire rose, we can get armory. And then once we have, you know, done all of these, we can start recruiting armies. This is more like a lazy way of playing it. Usually you do this a little bit different. You actually go for the units first and then upgrade them later on. But I think we are in a good spot, money-wise. And the beautiful part about the archer range opening is you have like the potential to capture outposts and even put archers inside of the outpost, which gives like a great early game protection. And Gondor can't really do anything about this until... Um, hold on a second. Put Theory next to Yoma. Boom. Mary can do this. Mary! Take this, take this and cloak. Nice, Mary Oak Brandybuck. I always knew that you are the better hobbit compared to your cousin, you know? Mary can destroy the farm, no problemo. Okay, beautiful. Alright, not bad. So we can now capture the outpost, like I said before, and uh, put the units inside of it again until the Gondonites will have shields. They can't really threaten the outpost that easily. And we can even get greater amount of resources from the outpost, you know what I'm saying? Beautiful. Okay. So again, we always spear throw and put Theodin next to his nephew. This way Theodin passively gains leadership. Massive power spike when Theodin gets level 4, by the way. Incredibly massive. I will represent the men of Gondor. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. You guys are crazy, man. You know, I don't know what to say. You know, while I'm not even streaming live on Twitch, you guys still, you know, kind of following me and stuff. Appreciate it. Really means a lot. He will trample, but I think we shouldn't get one-shotted. Yeah, we have like the statue, you know. Spear throw. And keep, yeah, keep being annoying with your horse heroes. Keep being annoying. Let's cancel this. My unit should inside deal now a good amount of damage. We have fire or purchase. We can demolish it. And... Okay, so we can keep chasing. Go for the armory next, you know. And people will be surprised, you know, when they will see Rohirrim archers with heavy armor, banner, and even fire rows. They will be very surprised because they don't see any Rohirrim archers now. Which kind of makes your playstyle also a little bit unpredictable, you know what I'm saying? So the way the matchup is gonna work eventually at some point for Isengard, Isengard should be able to dominate Gondor, you know, in this map. Because by spamming pikemen, you basically counter all his knights. But luckily, it's a 2v2 match, and with our Rohirrim archers, we can counter the... Oh, you will lose them. Spear throw! Okay, he bought upgrades on them. We need to kill it. It's gonna be a really expensive unit, by the way. Even a level 2 unit. Get this, get this. Eoma, the horse lord of Rohan is saying, You shall not reach Gondor. Level 5, you know? That's beautiful. A little bit of a... You know, League of Legends action, <laughs> playing, <laughs> you know, the game with heroes exclusively. But you can see this Eoma is actually a very important pick. I want to go for double stable, actually, you know. Because I'm realizing my ally is losing map control, as you can see and tell. This guy is annoying with the Berserkers, but I like it. He's playing good, you know. Always keep an eye on the map control, boys. You know, that, that's like the most important thing. Later on... There is not going to be a time in which you have will have enough money. There is nothing called enough, you know? Because one fight you lose, you need to invest like 5,000 into reviving your heroes, making your army back, and then all of a sudden you have no more money left. Kill him, Theorian King. Nice. Is this it? Is this all you can conjure, Saruman? Okay, let's demolish this one as well. 
We capture this one. How it beautiful. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we need to go for the double stable. He will destroy my stable, man. That's so unfortunate. Unfortunate. Spear throw. Okay, that was a little bit greedy of me. I'm not gonna lie. Now they have shields too, you know. Now they are tanky. It's a different story now. And Isengard is having the camp or the castle, uh, the outpost, I mean, next to the castle of my ally. We, we're gonna be ready very soon. I'm gonna summon the elves actually here to kill the pikemen. And put my heroes in between my archers so they can share experience with my theory. Getting killed in table to level 4 is my main purpose here, main reason why I'm doing this. Okay, so we can keep committing. Very soon we will be ready, boys. Uh, it's like, it was easy for me, man. I should have switched to the sword, you know. And I also lost my Pippin or Mary. Switch for me, Sean. Oh, my ally is trampling into the pikeman. Okay, level 4. Unlocked. That's good. That's very good, actually. There comes the Vorch, and now they look the units glowing from my ally, dude. That's like double leadership from Elma and Theorin. They have like crazy damage output, crazy tankiness. And outpost destroyed, that's good. And now we will be ready. Look, our money, they had like three point something, and we have to invest like over a thousand and thousand five hundred actually just into getting upgrades on your units, on our units. Uh, Rohirrim marches, very strong units by the way, if they have enough leadership and if they are highly leveled. But luckily, Eomar's leadership doesn't only give you increased damage, but also it gives you increased combat experience, which means your units are able to level up faster, which is pretty decent, you know what I'm saying? Okay, boys, we are ready now. Ready, ready, ready to rock and roll. There is a Saruman. Guys, I will tell you something. People don't understand. I will show you. The damage output from Rohirrim Arches towards heroes. That's something different. Can we not make peace, you and I? <laughs> this is the damage. Look, lords, 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 lords. <laughs> this is something else. You can't step up like this against my Rohirrim archers with glorious charge, Elma leadership, and Theoden leadership, dude. They are just hitting like a truck. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. Phenomenal performance. We're getting power points like crazy. We have like already a level 6 Rohirrim archer. I'm going to go for the heal and we need to build like running? that's where the power of Rohirrim arches lie so we can hit whenever he comes close to us we can disengage run away oh be careful i want to destroy the uruk pit you know then he will lose production speed oh okay knife go back now that's why you should never build the uruk pit in front of your castle you know Look at them glowing, boys. The pikes are getting melted. The leadership is kind of crazy. Crazy leadership. Berserkers everywhere, okay? Oh, I lost my Rohirrim Archer over there, okay? I was not paying attention. Multitasking, getting rough. Okay, we need to go back a little bit and heal up. So as long as there is no rain, I, sh I think we should be able to dominate the map control. In all out fight, it's a different story because Rohirrim Arches, if you don't know, are very value um, vulnerable versus fire damage. But with my Rohirrim Arches being around, Isengard shouldn't be able to maintain any map dominance. You know what I'm saying? And again, always keep focusing on the map control. Always. 
on guard. Wedge Try formation. Them out. Stay sharp. Oh, Gandalf, you are not hitting me with that lightning sword, my friend. You are not hitting me with that one. Trust me, that one. Okay, boys, let's go. I'm not sure about how many power points Eisen needs for the for the ring. But remember, we killed this Saruman and we killed also his lords. The power points are rising now. That's amazing. Kill everything. Okay, now. Now is the time to shine. Now kill everybody, my boys. Now kill everybody. Let's try to reclaim some map control. Um, You know, th there is always like uh, gonna be an action and there is going to be a punishment for the action. So what, Ro what Gondor is doing is the right call. He's focusing on the map control. That's You should be always doing this. But now, knowing this, that he is focused somewhere else, we can try to punish his ally in a 2v1 situation, okay? Now we have also Gandalf leadership. They have Eomar, Theodin, Glorious Charge, and Gandalf leadership. This is like crazy. Oh, but I should be a little bit faster with those ones. I'm gonna go for Aragorn next. I can demolish those pikemen in a second, no problemo. I have almost GC up. up. I'm gonna use GC now, boys. Are you ready, are you ready for this one? Look, 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 look. Oh, Gandalf almost get one shot it. Look, Gandalf, look, Gandalf. Look, 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 look. The White Rider. <laughs> what are you doing, bro? You can't really approach this. Beautiful blast from my ally, too. Lords, don't, don't over chase. You don't want to chase in between those structures. Now it's kind of very, very bad. And once the glorious charge is over or the rain has been activated, now my ally has to step up and trample down, trample down those combos. That's what he needs to do. I don't want to bail yet because my Tilden is kind of exposed. Can I save him maybe? Come on. How long did the cripple last? Okay. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Oh, that was close actually. Okay. We dealt still heavy damage to his to his economy. I mean, he has still map control, I believe, right? That's why he should not be too far. And we lost outposts in the meantime. But we killed his Gandalf. You know, I think it's a good trade for us. Get, you know coming ahead in those situations pretty decently and you know when you force your opponent as an opponent to use rain defensively it's always a good sign because now we can go back to the well chill a bit recover our health oh Ganav don't die okay my Ganav should be fine now without leadership it's a different story I don't think we can burst down those heroes fast enough nah it's not even close Okay, that's good. I mean, hopefully, if nothing else, this video will show you um, about the strength of the Rohirrim archers. Okay, we have Aragorn now too. I, I want to get. I want to actually go for the for the cloud break first now. The cloud break very significant debuff in fights because we will not be able maybe to stun them, but what we will be able to do is we will re uh, lower their armor by a decent amount and slow them down, which means we have even a greater kite potential and they can't really get away from us, you know? <laughs> Grand Harvest, you know, for the, for the late game economy. Always keep spending your resources. There is no reason to hold your resources. Like, if you have available command points, keep making more army. If you have not recruited every hero, keep recruiting more heroes. If you have anything to spend, you better spend it, you know? Oh, but they are coming, boys. Oh, I don't know, man, about this one. Rain is selective, though. Keep that please in mind. Nice little... Oh, he's going for the blast. I don't know if it's worth it, man. Kill Sarma, 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 Sarma. Oh, he stole them! Spear throw him! Does he have stage of leadership too? Oh, okay. That's beautiful, actually. I mean, there was a beautiful attempt from him, and my glorious charge was not able to hit the other Rohirrim because they got stolen by uh, our opponent. We, have, we are seeing multiple lands. I lost a Rohirrim there because I was not paying attention. Don't overcommit! But we killed Lords. Go back now. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Back to the well. I've also now land. 
Uh, I'm gonna actually not go for the land. I wanna, I wanna actually get Anduri's fort. So my Aragorn is gonna be stronger, you know what I'm saying? So basically, Aragorn without Anduri's sword is like Ganaf without Ganaf to wipe power point. Anduri will give you speed, tankiness, and damage. So you don't die in a second, you know what I'm saying? Okay, boys, now it's time. We have leadership back in the business. You know what that means, right? But he's pinging me. What is he pinging me for? Map control. Okay, we can't, you know, when you play with squishy units like Rohirrah Matches, you want to play like front to back. And you want to be forcing, you know, and you want them to use, I don't know, like Warchan or something like this. And you can always disengage whenever you want to. There is still a big army. I want to destroy the Orphan as soon as I potentially can and then bail. But my ally is bringing, oh, but too many units now. Too much firepower. Oh, what am I doing? I didn't want to do this, actually. Why am I using this? Just kill it, pikeman. My ally is losing all his horses there. Oh, they are rotating now, boys. Let's destroy those Knights of Gondor. Okay, nice. Beautiful. I mean, kind of. It's kind of awkward the way it's played off because I think my. The thing is, when you lose trebuchet or catapults, you also like feed a lot of power points. You know, look <laughs> the lonely, <laughs> the lonely <laughs> banner carriers. Two of them are still trying to bring the message to the castle. You know. Keep going now. Look, I like the way they are glowing now. We have triple leadership with Aragorn, Theodin, and Eoma, and a quadro leadership with the Glorious Charge. Level 10 Rohirrim Archers. Let's see who's gonna win this fight. They are still losing this fight, actually. I don't know how. But they have, like, too much damage, too much firepower. We need to disengage. I was expecting to be dominating this fight. But I think we can, again, turn and kill some, and then go back again. Just fish power points. Going for the Elven Wood now. I will cover the... Does he have rain? Yeah, he has rain again. Oh boy, we need to... I don't know, man. So awkward, the situation. My Rohirrim Archers! Aragorn! Rohirrim Archers, get away there. Get to the well, recover. Aragorn against... Boromir, you want to do this? Boromir? Gondor does not. Gondor has no king. Gondor doesn't need a king. He's knocking me down on the ground. We gotta kill Boromir. We gotta kill Boromir. Nice job, Aragorn. Show Boromir who the real captain of Gondor is. My horse, are two horse heroes. They have so much leadership, man. Holy moly. I want to summon the Elven Alliance here, by the way. Because every unit you summon or recruit after the rain has been used will receive their leadership bonuses back. My allies catapult or trebuchet is still hitting very hard. Gotta keep bringing more units. Let's get Legolas. And also Gimli I will be recruiting. To invest the money. Again, like I said, always keep investing the money. I think that's a good situation for us. Look, beautiful hit with the trebuchet. Holy... Yeah, Trebuchet is so good against immobile units like those combos, you know? They can't really get away from the shot of the Trebuchet that quickly. And we hold the outpost, kind of unexpected from my side. But we played it very well, you know? We were around the well all the time. 
So what Aizen needs to do or what Kondo needs to do from the enemy team is when they go to the outpost, the primary target when Rain is active is not the statue, it's actually the well. Because Stage 2 doesn't do anything if the rain is active. You don't get leadership from it. But the well is helping you to regain leadership because it keeps respawning units. And every, like I said before, every unit that is summoned, recruited, or respawned, healed at this point from the well will regain their leadership bonuses back. You know? And then we have Stage 2. Like, look the leadership we have. You know, Aragorn, Theo, Eoma very very strong okay now we can rotate let's do this look the gc boys this is the team synergy by the way gondor and rohan heroes first heroes first what <laughs> what is my gun up doing from my ally Again, if it's a little bit too deep. I want to heal him. I healed him. Crush everybody. Can I scan off? No! We are losing a lot now. No way. No way I lost this hardcore. There are still pikemen in my combos, you know. I played this so bad. I should have played this again front to back, you know. Look, I lost like what? Dude, I lost. What? My, my micro was so horrible at this point. It was just so bad, you know, just go to get away, they're Aragorn, get away. Gimli, throw X. Go back. At least we didn't lose our Arago and uh, Gimli, but oh my goodness, what's happening over here? You sneaky little snake. I need help there, man. No way. This guy is tower guards too. Oh boy. Now we will. That's gonna delay our heroes back, you know. Yeah, my Turin will need now a whole another minute. Oh man. Oh man. And even the level 3 farm has been destroyed. Oh man. Actually, very smart move from him. I am blind. I didn't see that coming. Okay, so. Luckily, we have almost EOD, but I'm assuming that also Isengard will have very soon Balrog. Look, the way evil factions are designed is losing units or heroes like, for example, Saruman or Lourdes will grant evil player, Isinger player, power points. So you, you win some, you lose some, but in either case, you get power points, you know? And I believe he killed his Saruman like three times at bare minimum. And I'm pretty certain that... He will be close to Balrog. Now, we need to kind of play around this a little bit, if we can. So we want to not be with all our army in one single spot in which he can summon the Balrog and kill every single one of them. We need to kind of play like with two armies at this point, you know? Okay, nice. We got AOD, boys. We got AOD. I really wish my ally would siege from the bottom side, but I think he doesn't want to do this. Like, I believe at this point, going for Isengard would be a big mistake. Even if you can go for Isengard, it's always great to have a second plan. Like a plan B, you know what I'm saying? So, when they kind of tunneling, funneling into the Eisen castle to defend this, we can rotate to the Gondor castle, and because we are mobile with the Knights of Gondor and Rohir marches, we, we have like <clears throat> we have like the speed advantage over our opponents. Our 
<laughs> there is still one trebuchet shooting at me. I really want to kill this level 10 units, man. These level 10s are so strong, you know. But we won't be able to catch up to them. I wish Cloudbreak would be available. Like, Cloudbreak would give us the chance to catch up to them because it will slow them down and we can crush them, you know. I don't know, man. I'm really scared, actually. I'm also very afraid to go to the uh, Isengard castle. But we have OD. <laughs> How are you guys? <laughs> Dude, attack us, you know? They're always the camping, you know what I mean? They're campers. Just you attack us, you know? You have rain button, you, go, you can go to the outpost and attack us. I want to kill those. Now, we can, we can use Cloud Break here. You ain't going nowhere, level 7 Knights of Condor. You ain't going nowhere. You see the slow? And that's going to give you the catch potential. Down. Down, down, down to Goblin Town. I have no money for the end mood. I would go for it. Because you need to siege Gondor, man. So it's late game with level 3 farms, with outposts, you know. We should be having good money. Kill those tower guards. Beautiful. Beautiful. Also Legolas, very underrated hero. Because I'm grouping them up. Oh, this is gonna be. I summon you to fulfill your oath. <laughs> like they are building an army, Worthy of Mordor over here, and my AOD, the cheat code, is saying, Welcome, you shall not enter Gondor. The AOD is so busted. But so is Padrock. Now we go. I'm. I'm now. I'm hundred percent certain that he has now gotten. If he didn't have before the Balrog, but I need to force it. You know, I can't really play around it all the time. We need to just kind of. It is what it is. You know, we need to force it. I knew it. I knew it. Oh my goodness. Even my Legolas got almost one-shotted from the summon damage. Swords and bows are no more useful here. Prince of the Mirkwood Elves. Oh, he's, my ally is going, committing to the outpost. But we have, look, that's the plan B we got, you know. We keep making more units. It's, but after such a play, it's always have uh, nice to have like a secondary army you can use. Legolas can heal up. And even though it sounds crazy, I would rather lose at this point my Legolas and or Gimli instead of losing my Eoma and or Kyrian. I mean, the Star Guards actually. What is my ally doing? Why is he running into the Balrog with the Rohirrim? A Gondonites, I mean. Oh man. Okay. Hmm. We have 6,000. We, we could go for the Ent mood, but I'm pretty certain that Ents are just like too weak against Fire Arrows, you know? Or Fire Stone. So it's better when Gondor goes for the, for the Siege. Okay, it's time. It's time to rock and roll. We can summon Ents here and destroy with the rocks the structures. Destroy the Urupit first, you know. Oh boy, there is the rain again. There is the rain again. I want to destroy the Orphank. Oh my god, I've got crippled. I'm gonna heal him. My allies can have a mean. Nah, it's a bad fight to take, man. It's a bad fight to take. We need to bail from here. 
Like, yeah, I don't know, man. It's really awkward. Without leadership, my units are not dealing damage. Oh, there is a glow. What beast? Uh, Git rush. Really? Never mind. He was paying attention. Okay. Oh boy. Now we can, we can go to any enemy land now, and we get in our leadership bonuses. It's pretty good. Um, now we should kind of be able to deal massive damage because he has no more army we destroyed the citadel which means he can't revive his heroes either and rain is now on cooldown that's pretty good for us the only problem or not a problem but it's just like a fact we have no gc available gc stands for glorious charge let's go we gotta be attacking back to back to back to back that's very important here don't give him time to recover evils have like crazy money in the late game like that's just like fact like they have i don't know like scavenger not scavenger uh, devastation industry and fuel the fires okay Gimli, you ain't, you ain't going nowhere, Boromir. Boromir. No, that's cheating, man. Why would you? It's a fair 1v1, bro. And you turn it into a 1v3, man. Come on now. I have no heal for Gimli. You will pay for this. First of all, the Eagles. Then it's gonna be Boromir. The captain of Gondor. Oh, there is a Ganoff on foot? Uh, <laughs> hello there. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is so funny, actually, now. Did you ever see a Rohirrim Archer army stronger than this one? Because I haven't. I couldn't see if it's trebuchet, man. But the stun is coming in clutch. Stunning those level 2 units. Defending the other trebuchet. Isengard is trying to rebuild. But let him rebuild. There is even an outpost for Isengard. And there is a Faramir from the enemy who is trying to show his quality. Let's show Faramir who the real quality he has. You now, Eoma is so much better than... Oh, but there is another Faramir. A contestor. In uh, showing qualities. destroy them all destroy all evil forces is you know you would like to hear in uh campaign evil campaign <laughs> okay but this army is looking strong too this guy is another army there like lots of crossbow man destroy the siege works first even though legolas got level five somehow i don't know the siege works first. Go down. I want to kill Lord so badly. I'm going to destroy the citadel. Does he have rain? I, thi I think he has like Eomal. Um, see, it. he has like Lord's leadership. That's why he's so strong. Be careful. Don't, 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 don't. Now you fight. Now you fight. Boom. Chakalaka. Trying to focus on my heroes. It's very messy. He's using land first because we can cover this, no problem. But also the enemy Gondor covered. My ally is not covering this right now. So we need to disengage again. Oh my god, man. <laughs> oh my god, man. They are holding. They don't give up, you know. They don't give up. They don't give up. Give me back in action. Now we are rich at this point. We could obviously recruit Eowyn too, but Eow actually Eowyn is not even that bad, you know. Eowyn smite, but you need to be kind of microing around her, uh, her quite a bit. Eowyn's PM actually chunks heroes, even against heroes like Lord Saruman, even Gandalf will get chunked by her. And she's very cost efficient too, she only costs 1100, and in, in, in a one-on-one, she's actually way stronger than Eoma or Theorin. She would win the one-on-one. My ally finally sieging. Finally, 
I'm pretty sure this Aizen will have rain soon available again, but I'm gonna summon now the Ents. The Ents are going to war. Oh, trebuchet. Too much leadership. Boom, boom, boom. Level 10 hitting you. Hitting your heart. Oof, what a hit. What a hit. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. I want to jump so badly. Who's summoning this Rohirrim? Damn, okay. <laughs> I missed it. <laughs> I missed it. Oh, there comes the... Um, okay. There comes the... Freezing rain again. My Gimli can keep going. There is... A, oh, he got crippled. Will he die, though? Get away there. Get away, get away, get away. More ants. I can even summon ants now. If I want to. But will it... Oh, I have no heal for Gandalf. I could have saved him. What am I doing, man? I could have used my Gimli and Aragorn to save him. I was not paying attention, to be honest with you guys. My bad. x throw him. Okay. Level 6, Gimli. Aragorn is kind of getting damaged quite a bit. But Aragorn is a tanky boy. He can always disengage. We have heal and Atelas. That's why Aragorn is so threatening, too. Like, he has this self-sustain, you know? Like, he's able to heal up himself. Oh... Why, why are they dealing so much damage to Aragorn? Holy! Jump on them, Gimli. Gimli, jump on them. Gimli, jump on them. Nice, Gimli. Good job. Nice. Okay, now we can bail. Get away there, you know. If not, three beards. And our leadership is regained. That's good. You guys go back to the well to recover. Now we have EOD back. And we know... Um, he summoned Balrog like almost a few seconds after I used EOD. So knowing this, I don't want to go with my army there, you know. <laughs> but I, I'm going to summon like new army here. Bam bam. Cloud break time. Oh my god, man. Eoma. Eoma. I'm gonna use EOD here. Run, Eoma, run, 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 run. Can I save him? Can I save him? Go back, Eoma. Yes, I saved him. I don't know how, but I saved him. That's good. Okay. Keep moving, keep going. Oh, there is a Balrog from my opponent. Run, but Elma died. Oh, no, don't kill him, man. I wanted to use Glorious Charge for tankiness, but I couldn't. Can okay, I need to revive them again? Oh, there is even AOD from Gondor to kill my... Oh, that's what I wanted to avoid at all costs, you know. Aragorn can fight this. <clears throat> I'm Isildur's heir. If you fight against me, I will slay you. Unfortunately, we get no, we get like, no, I can't even talk English hard. We don't get any experience for killing those EOD, but Aragorn is like one of the three heroes that can, or four heroes actually, that can kill EOD. Alongside Balrog is a hero too, right? And uh, Gandalf, obviously, with the water power and Visa Plus, Saruman with the Visa Plus, but Aragorn is being also quite tanky against them. So while heroes like Saruman would get literally one shotted, Aragorn is evil, capable of fighting him a little bit. Even though Aragorn will lose eventually, you can't kill a whole battalion, a whole army of EOD. That's not possible. But you can at least fight them back a little bit and, you know, kind of resist them for a, for a long duration. You know what time it is. It is time for the peasant army now. I'm actually going to get the forge plates. 
And because this game is lasting so long, you know, let's finish it with a boom. With a meme. The refugees of Rohan decide to go to war themselves and protect their land by invading Gondor. The peasants. And because they have so many pikemen, peasants are going to be great. Oh my goodness, this guy reclaimed his castle too. Oh man. <laughs> this game is lasting forever, dude. Let's get plates. Oh my, what am I? What am I doing? My brain starts to lag, man. Oh my goodness. It hurts me. Really, it hurts me so much. Holy. It hurts me so much, man. Oof. That will cost me like a whole minute now. Maybe more than that, actually, you know? Such a rookie mistake. Okay. Oh, he has the Cloud Break. I think two Cloud Breaks has been used now. Aragon, would you mind to hit the, finally, dude? With only one hour to hit. Okay, my Gandar, my not Gandar, my ally taking care of the castle. They are summoning Rohirrim. Aragon, go there and use. Oh my goodness, the rock knocked down Aragon. I couldn't move. I wanted to use the LND so they can disengage. There comes the rain. It will negate our leadership bonuses. Gimli, go. Go, Gimli. It's your time to shine. Nice blast from my ally. Aragon, almost level 10. Almost level 10. Use LND. A little bit. Jump? I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Can I get bleeds? Finally, man. Do it. We have no more command points available. Bring those peasants to this location. The last march of the peasants go. My ally is kind of level 10. Flexing a little bit with his EOD. Not EOD. Word of power, I mean. Go, go, peasants. There's actually, peasants are very strong, man. Super underrated unit. You know, the thing is, people don't understand how strong peasants are against non-horse army. Like, you have, like, the way it's working, a swordman with bleeds, like forge bleeds, will always have more DPS than a unit with fire arrows. That's just basic fact. Especially against structures. For example, if you play Isengard against Isengard, like Isengard Mirror Match, you see Uruks with blades demolishing. What are you doing, man? You can't fight Aragorn in a one-on-one -on -one situation, bro. Stop flexing with your War of Power, dude. I can't use my ability. Use it. Yeah, I'm gonna finish him off. Okay, nice. Kimli, uh, not Kimli. Can I've killed him? More peasants are going to war. <laughs> flexing his War of Power. Now we have bleeds too. <laughs> oh no, no, no. Gimli, the memer, the speedy Gonzalez. I'm going to summon the ends, boys. Okay, one person has been defeated. The last one is only the outpost remaining. Let's go for the end. For the end. Oh, he's finally choosing to use the War of Power. What a game, dude. We had everything in it. The ending was could be a little bit better of the game. Because we were trolling around a little bit too much. And the guys were kind of persistent with their will to win the game. By rebuying the castle and stuff. But it was still GG well played, guys. You know, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, you know... Make sure to give, leave a like to this video and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like this ends. And stay beyond standards. But before this video ends, you also need to take a look into the end game statistics to see how much resources we have gathered. Oh, actually, we have the most resources. And we killed a thousand units. 
Oh my god. GG. Well played.